Welcome back to Coding Games in Python. In this video, we'll introduce you to the Python Arcade Library, which is very easy to use uh, to be able to write uh, games in Python. And we'll write our first program. So we'll talk about the Python Arcade Library. Um, the window class is a very important class that we'll inherit from. Uh, we'll talk about how to draw text and basic shapes, colors, the corner system, and we'll write our first program. So the Python RK library is very easy to use, uh, for, especially for beginners uh, using the language uh, Python for writing 2D games. Another alternative is Pygame, which has been around for a long time. But Pygame can be a little bit harder for beginners to learn. Uh, and so here's some great reason why uh, you should use, use Arcade. So it's built on top of Piglet and OpenGL3. It's very easy to use. It uses less, less uh, boilerplate code than Pygame would. Uh, supports animated sprites, easy to scale sprites, has even a physics engine for simple platformers, and has support for uh, uh, graphics card acceleration, and then use a very nice uh, nice uh, math corner system, uh, the one we use in math class, uh, which is the origin is the top, the lower left uh, of the screen, uh, and the y corners is not reverse, which uh, can be uh, something that you see in other libraries. So the window class is uh, basically the main class that your game should derive from. Uh, this class represents the, w w the window of the game and manages event handling. Uh, and so uh, we'll see later in the code that we'll just uh, derive from this class. Uh, and then uh, the method that uh, we have uh, are these. We'll talk more about these later in the video. But for example, on draw and update can help us draw objects and update um, the objects. And then the other function can help us um, uh, keep track of mouse and keyboard uh, inputs. So let's look at the template for our first program. Uh, so our simple program will ha have a class, as I mentioned before, that derives from the arcade.window class. And then it will have the on draw, and, at least on draw and uh, on update. And so to keep this simple, all of our games will, will call this uh, class game window. And then we also have a main method that creates an instance of game window. So let's see uh, this template. So as from the first program, the, for the previous video, we created uh, an arcade window and we created a main.py. So I'm going to go back here to, this is a uh, Visual Code Studio. I'll open the window. I'll open the folder and I'll open this uh, folder. And then I have, here I have a template for uh, main.py. So basically the um, very simple here that can get us to write our first program. So notice that we import arcade and here's the game window class which uh, inherit from arcade.window. Uh, we have a main method and then uh, this is just very generic Python to call the main method. Uh, and then let's talk about uh, this two function here that um, I want to talk about is on draw and on update. Uh, these two methods allow us to draw objects about 60 times a second. Uh, this is the on draw and then on update allow us to update our objects for movement also call automatically 60 times a second. Okay, so there's uh, something called the event loop. Uh, if you've done some program game programming before, and so Arcade has a, a kind of a default event loop, and this allows us to kind of process operating system events like mouse and keyboard inputs. Um, and so the program will enter this application event loop uh, when we call the function the method Arcade.run. I uh, usually call in the main method of the program. And so let's go here and we'll go to the main method. And first we actually are going to create uh, a window uh, for our uh, for our program. So we call this this window. And we call the, we create a, a new game window instance. Um, and let's just actually create the the size of our screen, which is the uh, width. We'll make it 800 pixels, and then the height will make it 600 pixels. Uh, notice that the constructor here will uh, take the width and the height and then the title of the of the screen. So we'll send over width, height, and then we'll call this uh, basic drawing. So this will create a, a new game window instance uh, of this class. And um, so let's go back here. So we want to call the uh, rk.run so that uh, the program will enter this uh, application event loop which means that it can listen to this window will listen to keyboards and mouse events and so 
after we create the window, we can simply call arcade.run, and this will begin our, uh, our program. Okay. And so, uh, so let's kind of talk more about this, these two functions. So again, on draw and on update, these are call um, about a, a 60 times a second. Uh, and, um, and that way we can be able to draw our objects and update them for animation. And then the other functions, mouse motion, mouse press, key press, key release, uh, these are called as uh, as the event occurs when we move our mouse, when we press a key, or release a key, etc. And so here's the corner system. Uh, unlike many windowing toolkit, arcade use is a very simple uh, corner system with origins at the, at the bottom left of the screen. Uh, and so bottom left of the screen, and then the y coordinates goes up is positive, x goes right is positive. And every point on this screen is a pixel. And to do colors, uh, we can do it by a tuple of three integers, RGB, how much red, how much green, how much blue we want to mix together. Uh, so for example, 25, 00, uh, that gives you all red, no green, no blue, so that's red. Then we mix red and green, uh, then you get yellow, for example. But also, Arcade has uh, some uh, simple colors that has been uh, put into the Arcade.color package. And so, for example, arcade.color.white, arcade.color.red, uh, those are the, the color that we can use without having to come up with those uh, those numbers. And so, at the documentation uh, shown here, you can see the full list of all the colors that that is available. Okay, so in the constructor of the the game window class, we can call the arcade.background, and we send in the color to set the background color. Uh, so let's uh, actually do that right now. So let's go to this is the constructor of game window. We can call arcade dot background okay dot set background. So notice that uh, Visual Studio Code allow us to have uh, some help here with the uh, with this library. So we're gonna send in the color. So let's just say arcade dot color dot uh, white to make that uh, the white background. And then all our drawing should be done inside of the on draw. Uh, method of the game window. Uh, in particular, before we draw any object, we have to call uh, arcade.startRender to begin uh, the process of re rendering these objects. So these are things that we have to do every time we write uh, any game. So let's uh, go here and we're gonna, first thing we do is we're gonna say arcade.startRender How do we draw text? So the library, the arcade library has a function for drawing text, and it's called arcade.draw underscore text, and it takes a, a text, the position, start x, start y of it, the color, so those are the kind of the required parameters, and then uh, the font size has, is a keyword argument, and the default is um, is 12. And so for example, if I were to, to call it using uh, hello world, for example, with the start x and start y, I can specify color, arcade.color.black, for example, and I can choose 30 instead of uh, 12 if I want. And so what this does is that it will create a text box. Uh, again, there's no boundary for this text box, but I just want to illustrate uh, how it works here. And uh, something one thing to note is that by default, the anchor point uh, for the text box is uh, left and bottom, meaning that start x, start y, uh, anchor is left and bottom of this text box. So therefore, it's at uh, this point. Now we can change this, and so I can use anchor underscore x and anchor y keyword arguments to, to change this. So for example, if I were to do the same thing again, except now I put in anchor x is right, anchor y is top, then that means that I'm, I'm again uh, printing out hello world, except now my anchor point for start x, start y is now right and top. That way it gives you, according to where you want to put the, the text box, you can anchor it at different places. And finally, uh, a useful thing to know is that when we, we sometimes want to center our text, so we can use the keyword arguments width and align to specify the width of the text box and how the text is aligned. So for example, um, again, start x, start y, the color, then width is 200, 200 pixels, and my alignment is center, so that way everything is center, and then I'm going to put my anchor x and anchor y to be also the center. By the way, these um, uh, keyword arguments, so really we don't have to memorize all this. We get, if we use keyword arguments, 
we can put them in any order we want so we don't have to have it, these memorized and also Visual Studio Code can also prompt us with the ordering of the arguments if we want so don't feel like you have to memorize all this uh, the IDE will help you with it and, and also uh, you can also use keyword arguments so in this case for example um, the width is 200 pixel and then my anchor notice now is at the center of the box and also my alignment is center so that way this is how we can uh, center our text okay so let's just kind of do a, a basic um, a drawing of text so rk dot draw text and let's do hello world and we wanna put it at a certain position so let's just say let's put it at a hundred uh, that's the x and then maybe put it in the middle of the screen so height over two and notice how um, the visual studio code um, IDE kind of tell you the the, the different uh, arguments that you need and so after start x dot y uh, the next one is the color and so let's say rk dot color dot say black uh, and then we can specify the, the font size so let's say 30 okay so let's just uh, run this so if I right click I can press uh, run python file okay so I guess the error here is that um, I need to call the constructor of rk.window so I need to do call init um, send over the width height and title okay so let's try that again there it is hello world okay so let's um, talk about how to draw other primitives so we'll talk about basic circles lines and rectangles Arcade has other library but you has other ways to draw different uh, like polygons but I'll let you look at the documentation for that uh, so let's start with the, the so again three functions are draw circle fill which draw a circle with fill with a certain color it takes a center x center y radius and a color a rectangle fill take a center x center y a width and a height and a color and then draw a line had a start and an end uh, x y uh, color and also if you want you can specify the line width how thick the line is so let's go to over each of these individually so ok dot uh, draw circle fill take a center x center y and a radius and a color so let's try something uh, with our uh, so here let's do ok dot circle draw circle fill and we want, uh, let's just say we want say 100 and 100. So that's the position. And now we want um, the the radius, which let's say that I want 50 pixel. Uh, and now I want the actually this is arc, so that's the wrong one. So I want circle. Um, and now I want the the color rk dot color dot say red or something um, so again position x y the radius and the color so let's try that notice here it is circle red circle so um, so again the center is here and then the radius uh, is the circle and um, that's basically how you draw a circle for rectangle you specify the center x center y and then the width and the height um, of the of the rectangle um, and then also a color to fill it in so, so let's kind of do something simple here also so now let's do rk dot draw rectangle fill again I want a position so let's do again let's do 500 height is 100 now I want a width so I say 200 a height of 100 and then uh, I want a color so arcade dot color dot say blue um, and then let's try to run that there it is then finally um, you can draw a line 
by calling ok.drawline and just the start x, start y, and x, and y. And then the color and also uh, how thick you want the line to be. Uh, and so let's do that next. ok.drawline. Okay and we want uh, a start x and start y. So let's just uh, connect these two objects. So let's put here 100, 100 for the circle. And then I'll connect the this circle with this rectangle, the center of those. And so um, 500, 100, that's the, the nx, ny. So this is the beginning, uh, xy, then the nx, ny. I also want a color, color dot say black again or something. And then I also want, maybe uh, optionally, I want uh, a line width. So if I say the keyword line width, I can say 3. The default is 1, uh, as shown here. So that tells you how um, how thick you want the line to be. So if I were to run that, oops. So maybe I should uh, I should close this down actually first before I run it. So oh, there it is. So it connects the the two center of those two objects. So that's just basic text, uh, basic shapes, basic line. Uh, and I think that's all I want to do with this video. Thanks for watching.